can it be? Oh yeah, I am back with another video. It has been quite a while, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna make any excuses, so let's jump ahead and do it. And this is a redstone block special, as you can see. Yeah, I made a bunch of stuff, so I'm just gonna show some of it. And this right here is a true one tall G flip flop design, which is pretty fast, pretty compact. I like it, but I like this one even more. Uh, in 1.4.6 this wasn't possible even though it should be because they fixed a glitch where a piston wouldn't react to this kind of mana stable without a repeater. So this right here wasn't possible before. Yeah it is now. <laughs> and that is awesome. So yeah. And it's more awesome, even more awesome than you think, and I will show you why in a second. But first, this here is a tiny, tiny, tiny RS knowledge. And usually I don't really like piston RS knowledges, but yeah, this is one wide, very small, and tileable. So I might consider using this one. And I made a couple of butt switches because I could. It's not really re relevant because of the changes, but yeah, I did that anyway. And I think these two have already been showcased, but uh, yeah, I'll just show them anyway. Um, this one right here is a T uh, T bud or a butt flop or whatever you want to call it. Basically, a bunch of it that acts like a T flip flop. Uh, and I like it pretty much. Um, but now to something very, very strange. Um, these pistons here, sticky pistons, react very, very strange when hooked up to a clock like this. So you would think that it would get pushed over here, then over here, then over here. And it still does, but yeah, just, just watch this. This hitbox never disappears, but these pistons extend either way and apparently they have the same output which is so weird and seemingly this output never goes off which is not true that's just the lamp being slow to turn off which by the way Mojang changed that just make it instantly turn off please would make much so much better <laughs> and change but of course but you'll do that. Uh, yeah, enough doping. Um, this right over here works as supposed to, even though it can create a graphical glitch here. Um, yeah, that's how this should work as well, as I think. So. Yeah, take a look at that Mojang, and I'm pretty sure that is why this is possible too. This right here can create ghost blocks. And I don't get it. <laughs> uh, I think it's something to do with the same behavior as that over there, but basically if you do like this, place a block there, you can create the ghost block of your choice. So if you try to inject with this, it disappears. But I went ahead and made an elevator, simple elevator sign. And yeah, no tutorial for this one, but I think it's kind of funny. Uh, just, it just uses water buckets and dispensers, which by the way looks like furnaces in this snapshot. I think that's kind of funny. But that's all to do with all the changes with texture pack, the texture packs, sorry, they made. Um, yeah, well. I think that's pretty cool, uh, but fix it anyway, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> but now to this T flip up here again, it is more awesome than you think. It's small, yeah, so what? <laughs> we already have small designs, but it is instant. And on the rising edge, it shouldn't be because 
Yeah, this uh, right here should remove power from the remove the power instantly, but it shouldn't go over here instantly as well. Really, I don't get it, but it does. And what's even more strange, on the falling edge here, you can see when I press it again here, this will turn off, the torch will turn on. And the same here, the repeater is just to even out the delay. So you can see here, the delay from the torch, you can see here, it is instant on the falling edge as well. And it makes no sense to me really. But, uh, oh, I forgot to reset this. I'll just be right back. Yeah, well, <laughs> damn it. Too many recordings of this because it's so long. Yeah, well, <laughs> let's move on. This is just to show that no matter how many, it's still instant. And the reason I had to go and manually reset it is because it actually acts like a instant binary counter, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, and this right here is just to show that the fact that then that the power here gets instantly removed now because yeah they changed that so you have falling edge instant wire uh, which is kind of cool and here I made a dual edge repeater which is awesome so on the rising edge on the falling edge oh never mind that was the other way around rising edge falling edge instant and who doesn't love that and I I pretty much self wing inspired me to do this but I wanted a one white design yeah because wires are one white and it became much more than I ever would have expected this is the whole design the only thing that's kind of stupid is that the input is not the same height as the output but really that is an easy fix <laughs> there we go so yeah I'm very happy with this and I went ahead and made a instant NOT gate as well so yeah <clears throat> yeah you can see the design that it works so yeah instantly turns off and instantly turns on and I think this design is a bit easier to explain than on that one because it's harder to see so when I flick the lever here you can see this block instantly removes from there so this would instantly turn off or it does and then four ticks later this will turn on but by then this block will have blocked the signal and yeah well, as you saw before with the falling edge this piston will instantly retract and therefore instantly turn on and even though this one turns off the block will be back in place by then so yep yeah, this is just an alternate version and yeah <laughs> it's pretty cool it's just to uh, if you didn't don't want uh, the output to be so far from uh, the input but yeah I don't see really why because instant wire is to travel or to transfer signals in a long distance so yeah I like that design even though that is annoying but inevitable damn it <laughs> Uh, yeah so that's pretty much all guys uh, thanks for watching I'll see you later